Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing an update on my clawfish area. I will link the first video uh, in the description. I It's been a while because I've been trying to figure out a way to film this without it being so like amateur looking because I'm just holding my phone. That is how I usually film anything. Um, but we're just, we're just going to tackle it this way and see how it goes. Hopefully you guys don't get dizzy. Um, this is my laundry room. So I have my washer and dryer over here and I have a table over here. Um, this was just like an old dining table we had and I just didn't get rid of it. I ended up putting it in here so that it could be my folding table, which it is sometimes, but as you can see, I just have some craft paper laid over this side of it. Um, and this is where I do my filming. So I have a lamp here that I stole from one of my kids and I literally just uh, put a rag over it and put a rubber band around it to make like a soft box, I guess. Um, and then this is just the clamp where I put my phone when I do my top down filming and it is just attached to this built in, uh, ironing board. Um, so it totally works. And I usually have my chair over here, even though I have this whole desk setup area, I'm always just finding myself drawn to, uh, do everything right here. And I think it's just because I don't have a really good lighting situation over there. And I mean, I painted it pretty much black and uh, which was probably a poor choice given that there's really no lighting over there. So I don't know, that's, I still have to work that out, but I'm just not worried about it at this point. Um, so for storage, I have these two uh, storage carts this one I got off Amazon and I, I will link everything if, if I can find it. Um, but this one just has, you know, larger bins here and smaller bins here. And I don't have it exactly organized. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff, I'm not going to go through every single thing, but you know, like I've got bigger office supplies in there. Um, this was my most used a drawer, but since I put together my Delphonics utility pouch, this is a little bit empty now. Um, these holes are empty here because I didn't like the silver knobs that came with this. I thought it made it look a little bit cheap, so I just kind of use this as a pull like that. Um, but you know, I've got like random scraps of stuff. Um, this is like my refill drawer of like extras. Um, so yeah, this has been really, really great to keep all of my stuff like semi-organized. Um, it's got this metal top and I usually just keep, I don't know, kind of my most used books up top. Like this is my Midori that I use for YouTube stuff. And then this is my narrow uh, Chic Sparrow Maverick. That is my uh, homeschooling planner. Um, so I keep that out. Yeah, I still kind of have to figure out like what I'm doing with that. But this is from Target and it just keeps like bigger stuff like my laminator and my uh, paper slicer, stuff like that. Um, up top is where all of my 12 by 12 scrapbook paper stuff is. And this is actually the sandwich paper that I got off Amazon that I was using in my Hobonichi weeks for a long time. Um, I believe this is 12 by 12, so it doesn't fit in anything else. So I just keep them stacked up top there. And so this kind of keeps my stuff, you know, out of the way, it keeps it looking pretty neat. Um, so I'm happy with that. And even though that's underneath the desk, I seem to have enough space here to sit uh, if if I ever would. So I showed this side on Instagram. Uh, this is my like washi tape wall, but I just got a pack of these hooks for pegboards. And then I bought a bunch of these wooden dowels and they just sit on there so I can take them on and off and like rearrange things and use the washi tape. And I I really like 
having it on display like this. Um, for something like washi tape, I'm a very visual person. I need to see everything all at once in order to know like what to pick. And then these are some pegboard organizers. They're just acrylic cubes. And as you can see, I just have like Crayola Super Tips and Tombow Duo Brush Pens and some mild liners in there. Uh, so it ended up fitting really nicely in there. And I just have some bigger washi tapes here and my Hobonichi Bears. Uh, and then on the left side, I have more of these acrylic cubes, which are my favorite. Uh, when I was trying to organize the pegboard system, I ended up buying a lot of different types of acrylic organizers on Amazon and I returned some stuff and I ended up buying more of these because these ended up being my favorite. Uh, this is just like a really long paper holder and so I like to just put like some scheduling things and just loose papers like uh, coupons and things right there. So these two are just like my regular black pens and just things that I would use more often than anything else. And I just kind of have those in there. Uh, some alcohol inks and random paint. Um, this is my watercolor cube. This is washi extra washy that I'm not supposed to have because this, I told myself, this is all the washi I get. If it doesn't fit on here, then I can't buy it. And yet I have a washi overflow container right there. So whatever. This is all Chic Sparrow leather samples. It's like the whole thing is full. When I first started getting Traveler's Notebooks, I literally wanted a TN in every single leather. And obviously I don't do that now, but since then I have just decided to get leather samples. And so this has been a really fun way, you know, to collect all the different leathers and try them out. And it's good for comparison reasons too, if I ever need to refer to those, if anybody has questions or I get a new leather and I want to, you just compare it to another one that I don't have, but I have the sample. So uh, that's it for the left side. And I did not do this bad a job painting. Like this house is so old. So I just painted over top of like everybody else's mistakes. So yeah, so I know it's not like smooth and beautiful and everything, um, but there are three shelves. Uh, there were two and then my husband made me another one. And so this first shelf here, um, I think I'm gonna turn off this light and see how that looks. I think that's a little bit better. We'll go with it. Um, so in the first shelf right here, this is a pottery bowl that I have an old washcloth in. And this is what I use for uh, watercoloring, which I'm not really doing right now. These like copper wire baskets are from Walmart. I don't know if they have them anymore, but uh, they're not the best, uh, but I just like the way that they looked here. So these are holding empty inserts and notebooks and things. And they were kind of organized by size. So these were supposed to be like the smallest ones um like maybe weeks size and passport size and that kind of thing this was all uh standard or narrow size and then these this was anything bigger so wide a5 and all of that it's not really organized like that right now uh because i'm getting new notebooks so we'll, we'll figure that out the next shelf is obviously all of my traveler's notebooks and folios and leathers and things um, a bunch of these have notebooks and inserts in them because I like to get in here and just play with these. So I will randomly just take a bunch down and just start putting notebooks in them and just see how things fit and how I like it. And, uh, you know, any of these could be the next thing I journal in once I finish the one I'm on. So I just like to kind of play around and, and see what's next. So the topmost shelf are the, well, over here are, are two books. This is like how to draw every day and that's the bullet journal method. And I, I don't know, I'm not into those. I wish I never bought them, but whatever. These boxes are from Target, the Hearth and Hand line. So, you know, they have all got labels. So this is non-paper inserts and covers, you know, so I've got like my Hobonichi cover that won't actually fit in there. This is all fountain pen stuff. I, I'm not really big into fountain pens yet, but I did get the whole like cleaning kit from Goulet Pens. 
Um, and then the bottled inks and stuff, they just sit in there. Obviously all my stamps with inks and all of that. And then uh, my camera. So I have a, like the little Polaroid thing. And then um, I have all my sprocket film and extra stuff in there. And then this has pocket notebooks because let me show you. When I was into uh, field notes and like getting uh, the field notes subscription, I just had so many and so they can fit in their own box. They're not in, uh, you know, the wire baskets because they all fit in here. So I'm like trying to get my husband to use them. I've been playing with setups with these to use them as journals. Um, so that may be coming. Yeah, so hopefully, um, you know, I can use those up eventually. But in the meantime, I'm not purchasing any kind of pocket-sized notebooks or anything because obviously I have enough there. Okay, so that is pretty much everything. I'm just trying to figure out lighting at this point. Uh, this... <laughs> I got this off Amazon and it, it's literally like on command hooks, um, <laughs> just going all the way down and then it's plugged in right there. It's pretty terrible. I need a shade or something for it, but I just don't know if I like it and if I want to buy anything else for it. I don't want to take up desk real estate with a desk lamp, but I think that might just be what I need to do. But I also like when that lights on, it lights up these shelves because if I have a lamp down here, these aren't going to get lit. So I don't know, whatever. I'm kind of over it right now. I do everything on this desk anyway, which uh, my husband is a little sore about because he made me that desk. But yeah, so I just got my planner here. I usually have uh, my planner here and not with like my journaling stuff, which I usually keep in the living room. Um, cause I come over here and I just check off things, especially when I do laundry and stuff. I like to do it right there for some reason, but I always have like a, a bag like that I use for trash. So I just keep it down here because when I'm like cutting or doing whatever, I just sweep it off into that bag and then throw it all away. And I usually keep my purse down here. I have a, like what's in my purse purse or something I can link that to and I usually just throw it on the floor right there which is terrible but that's usually where I keep it and yeah this is uh where I do everything you guys and I'm calling it pretty much finished so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again soon bye